Hey what's up YouTube, I'm CJ Big Rec and today I'm going to be recording my first round entry into the next great YouTuber, which is a card discussion. The card I'm going to be discussing is Scrap Factory. First of all, I'd like to say I'm very gutted that Scrap Factory is only a common card. I mean, I think it deserves a little better than that, but because it came in a set Prime Origins where a lot of other broken cards came in, it kind of got shunted aside to make room for cards like Angeli. But that said, I still think Scrap Factory is an extremely good card. I believe it has a lot of potential in the scrap archetype. First of all, I'm going to start by saying it's a field spell which makes it really easily searchable with cards like terraforming. Now, if it was a continuous spell, then you wouldn't really be able to search out very easy. I mean, there is an Arcana Force 14, I think it's te Technician or Tactician or something like that, which if you call it, uh, you flip the coin and if it's heads, you get to search out a continuous spell. But, I mean, for the most part, Using terraforming is a lot easier because you know just a simple spell card search it out and you can run it in the scrap archetype. So I think that really helps makes it a lot easier to play and get it out as soon as possible because you need to get it out as quickly as possible. Once it's on the field, hopefully first turn because that will make it really good. Once it's on the field, its first effect reads like scrap monsters get 200 attack and defense. Now that's not the best part of its effect, however it does put Scrap Dragon up to 3k beetle, which means it can rival the mighty Blue Eyes White Dragon. Mm, yeah, maybe not, but still, 3000 does uh, look a lot more respectable than 2800. Um, so I, I think that's like, it could have been nice to have an extra little bit, little bit more attack, maybe 400 or something, but, you know, 200's uh, free attack basically at the end of the day, because its next effect is a lot better and is what's broken. So, Scrap Factory's really broken effect. I'm going to read it because my memory's atrocious. When a face-up scrap monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon one scrap monster from your deck. You can only use this effect for Scrap Factory once per turn. Now, I think this is really good because, well, for one thing, it's special to summon a monster from your deck. Any card that does that, extremely good. I mean, you know any scrap monster from your deck, it doesn't have any limitation of level 4 or lower or a tuner or anything like that, so any monster, which generally means you're going to summon golem because that is probably the best non-synchro scrap monster if you can get it out on the field. I mean it's 5 stars so before now it was generally either summon it from the grave or you have to tribute summon it and this effect allows you to special summon something from the graveyard so you summon this with scrap factory opens up so many p potential plays. The archetype of scraps all about destroying their own cards. Now this allows you to get certain pluses, either add something back from the graveyard or um, send something from your deck to the graveyard. Now, um, Scrap Factory obviously pluses onto that. Okay, so this is a really quick example of a decent play with Scrap Factory. I'm going to talk for it as quick as possible. So you add a Scrap Tuna or you draw a Scrap Tuna. You activate Factory, activate Storm, target that Tuna, send Chimera. That Tuna goes to the grave after you draw. Then you get to summon with Scrap Factory, summoning Golem, adding back Chimera with Goblin's effect at the end of the chain. Then Golem's effect summons the Tuna and you can Synchro Summon into Scrap Dragon. And you have Scrap Dragon on the field plus a Scrap Factory plus five cards in your hand. However, in this case I set MST. I'm really hoping in the Deluxe uh, edition of Primal Origin, Scrap Factory might be the uh, common that is reprinted as a hollow, and I'm really literally praying to Karmi that happens. When I've recorded this, it hasn't been confirmed. When you watch it, it might be. I don't know. Um, but I really hope that is true. I think that's all. So, this is CJ Big Mac leaving to get some more food. Yeah.